Hello everyone, this is Sasha, aka Your Frugal Friend, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use free clip art for commercial use from Creative Fabrica to turn it into a digital sticker that you can package and sell in your Etsy shop or wherever you sell or give away your digital stickers. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, we are on a landing page within Creative Fabrica, and this is for a giant crafting bundle. And I saw this come through my inbox because I'm signed up to get freebies from Creative Fabrica. I'll drop you the link to this exact package in the description for this video so you can get it for yourself. But I don't pay for Creative Fabrica. I just signed up to get the freebies and they give you so many freebies of fonts, clip art that you pretty much never have to buy anything if you don't want to. But sometimes they don't give you what you want and their clip art's actually super cheap for like a dollar or two. So if you want something from this website, super cheap. And like I said, it's for commercial use. That means you can take the clip art and you can transform it into a new end product like a digital sticker or use it on your designs and then you can sell it. So it's great. All right. So what I noticed when I, when I brought this up from my inbox is, wow, I see these cute little witchy stickers, which I know sell really well as stickers or as digital planning products on Etsy because like dark academia, witch, witches planner, witch planners, um, any kind of goth clip art, anything like that sells really well right now. So then I looked at the bundle itself and I saw they're, you know, they're marketing it as an about witch magic SVG. But I know that all a digital sticker is, is a PNG with a transparent background. I see in the file formats included that PNG is indeed included. So I can take this, transform it into a digital sticker and then I can package it and sell it. All right, so this is great. It has tons of cute little elements. <clears throat> I'm going to be taking this kitty cat today and show you um, how to turn it into a digital sticker. So now what we're going to do is we're going to download all of the bundles because we don't know which one contains the clip art that we want. And then we're going to um, extract uh, all because it's going to be a zipped file. So you're going to download, do extract all. And then once you have it open to here, you'll see on the third bundle that the Witch Magic SVG stickers are here. But we don't want that SVG file type. We actually want the PNG. So we're going to open that up and we see our cats there. So now we're ready to turn this into a digital sticker. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to PhotoP. So PhotoP.com, P-E-A. And then you're going to create a new project. So this project is going to be 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels because for digital stickers, it's easier to make it 1000 by 1000 and make it smaller than like 200 by 200 pixels and people want to make the sticker bigger and it looks grainy. So it's best to start big to go small. And that's about as big as you want to do it. Otherwise the file size will be too big. So now you want to make the DPI 300. So it's a nice crisp image and the background you want to make that, um, for now we want to make it a color so we can see i'll choose this blue so we can see what we're working on because we're going to be creating a white rim around the sticker and then a drop shadow and white on white would be hard to see but white on a different color would be easier to see as we're working we're ultimately going to remove the background so it's a transparent background so this this isn't going to um, matter in the end it just helps for when you're working so create is the next button you're going to click on so there we are we're in our basic um, work background. So now we're going to go back to the file. We're going to select the sticker we want to make. We're going to drag and drop that clip art and then it'll look like this once it drops. It'll go to the edges, but you don't want it to go to the ed edges because we're going to, like I said, be putting a white background behind it and um, a drop shadow. So you want space for that. So here um, is our clip art. I, I center it because that makes it easier to work on. And then we're going to, once we have that centered, we're going to right click this, a layer over here on the right, right click it, blending options is what we're gonna choose. And then we're gonna choose stroke because that's gonna put a, um, a rim around the actual clip art so we can get that kind of sticker look. But it defaults to black in photo P, so we're gonna double click on stroke to get this um, menu to come up. And then we're gonna choose white here. You can also choose there. So okay. 
And also, we want to change the size of the stroke to be bigger because right now it's pretty tiny. So I like to make, you see, you can make it really big or really small. So I think that like 12, 13 actually looks pretty good. So we're going to, we're going to default on, we're going to put in 12. So now we click on OK. So now we need to duplicate this layer because now we're going to be creating the back part of the sticker that we put the shadow on and stuff. So we're going to click right click on that same layer and click on duplicate layer, duplicate layer. And then we're going to move that layer by holding it down and moving it under that one. So we have the, the top and then the bottom. So the original and then the copy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to on the copy be um, converting this to a smart object. And then we're going to right click again and click on rasterize. So now we have that done. And so now what you want to do with this copy is you want to click on blending options and then we want to click on color overlay. And we actually want to make it, I'm going to double click on that and we want to make it white. Because now, click OK, click OK, get out. If we, if we unclick this eye, you'll see now it's that white background. So now, you see here, we have this blue here on the nose and then the eyes and the ears. We want to fill that in so it looks like an actual sticker. So we're going to turn the eye off on the top layer. And now we're going to go to the paintbrush on the side over here. Click on white. And we want to, I make this a little bit bigger because it makes on the size easier to fill in. So then there. So now we're coloring in all this blue to turn it white. So it's easier to make it look like a real sticker. So now we're going to turn that eye back on. And as you can see on that top layer, you don't see that blue background anymore. So now it's looking more and more like a real sticker. So now we're going to right click this top layer and we're going to convert that to a smart object. So the next step is to click on your the background sticker layer and you're going to click on blending options and then we're going to select drop shadow and here you'll see that we have a drop shadow but it's kind of like at an angle it's like a, a drop to the left and we want it to be around the entire sticker so it looks like a real sticker so what we're going to do is we're going to be selecting on the drop shadow so double click that again so we get into these settings that word drop shadow double click you'll get here and we're going to change the angle to 90 enter and so then we're going to um, change the spread to out so you want the distance to be zero so now you see that spread is now more around the whole thing and you want the spread to be like 27. You can also make it as big or as little as you want, but I find that 20, 27 looks pretty good, 2730. We'll do 27. And then you can make it bigger or smaller, depending on how much of a shadow you want it to be. So we'll do on this one, we'll do, we'll do 15 pixels. So there we go, we click OK, and we're happy with that. So now you see you have this cute little sticker with that shadow background. It looks like a real sticker. So now we want to export this as a PNG after we remove the background. So we're going to remove the background by that eye, clicking the eye, it removes it. And then this is what a PNG with a removed background looks like, this like gray and white checkerboard. So now what you're going to do is go up to File, Export as PNG and just click on, you can name it cat, which cat is what we'll do. Click on save. So then it saves down and we can go into our little planner page example in Canva and we can bring it in here. And then once it loads, we can t open it and you see that 1000 by 1000 saves pretty big. So then sizing this down will look super cute and even sizing it up a little looks cute. But we can take this, size it down, and it looks like a cute little sticker. And that's all you have to do. And you see a nice shadow, makes it look real. Put it in a digital planner, whatever you want to do. Package them all together, do a whole bunch, and sell it on Etsy, whatever you want to do. So 
that's how you make a digital sticker and photo piece. I hope that this has helped you to learn how to do that and how to tap into the endless free resources that Creative Fabrica offers and have fun creating your digital stickers for free in Photopea.